friends. Hey friends, Dee Dee's here, and I am back for another day of storytelling. Are you ready for a story today? I was trying to look and see which books I've got here. Um, this first book today is called The Teddy Bear. It's by David McPhail. Have you read The Teddy Bear before? I don't know that I've read this one. So let's see. Are you ready to get started? All right. The Teddy Bear. Let's shift our camera a little bit. There we go. Now maybe you can see all of the book. The Teddy Bear had a good home. A warm and cozy place to sleep, many friends, and someone who loved him. Look at there. Isn't that cool? Yeah. The teddy bear got to go places, too. He went on trips, short trips and long trips. The boy who loved him took him everywhere. One day while traveling, the boy and his family stopped for lunch. See him eating lunch? But in a moment of confusion and forgetfulness, the teddy bear was left behind. Oh no, do you see that? Looks like the little boy went to sleep and then they didn't grab the teddy bear when they left. Oh, there's the ladies cleaning up the restaurant. By the time he was missed and a search begun, it was too late. He was not to be found. The teddy bear was unhappy and afraid. He lay squashed in a dark, smelly place. Even though he had a fine fur coat, he was beginning to get a chill. Can you see that? You see the teddy bear? Long hours passed. The teddy bear was despairing of ever being found. Suddenly, he felt fingers close around his leg and pull him free. Save, the teddy bear rejoiced. My little boy has found me. See the fans grabbing his feet? But the hands that held him did not belong to the little boy. And when his eyes adjusted to the brightness, the teddy bear saw that he was in the grasp of a bearded man wearing a long green coat. The man held up the teddy bear and stared. And slowly a smile spread across the man's face. Then he stuffed the teddy bear in his pocket and started walking. The teddy bear spent the rest of the day in the bearded man's pocket as he ambled through the dirty streets. Night came, and the man made his way home. The teddy bear lay awake as looking at the stars as the bearded man slept. Oh. That night, for the first time since teddy bear came into his life, the little boy went to bed without his teddy bear. In the morning... The sad little boy went off to school and the sad little teddy bear went back into the pocket of the long green coat as the man set out for his daily rounds. What do you think is going to happen? Yeah, I wonder. I wonder if that'll happen. Let's see. 
Days passed. Weeks went by, then months. The boy still missed his teddy bear, but the but with each passing day, he thought about him less and less. He had new toys to occupy him and new friends to keep him busy. As for the bear, he missed the little boy and his old friends, but he was enjoying his new life and the company of the bearded man. And best of all, the bear still felt loved. The winter came to an end and the days grew warmer. The bearded man put away his long green coat and now he carried the bear under his arm as he went about his business. And one spring day, the man placed the teddy bear on a park bench while he looked for something. Now it just so happened that the little boy was walking through the park that day with his mommy and daddy. And as he was passing the park bench, the little boy noticed the teddy bear. My bear, he cried, scooping up his old friend in his arms and squeezing him tight. Amazing, said the little boy's mother. How could this be, said the little boy's father. Then they saw the bearded man approaching. Come along, said the father. Mustn't be late, said the mother. And they all walked quickly toward the park exit. They were on the curb waiting for the light to change when they heard someone wailing. It was the bearded man. Standing in front of the bench, he cried out, My bear, my bear. Where is my bear? The traffic light turned green. The sign blinked walk, but instead of crossing the street, the little boy ran back into the park, back to the bench, and back to the bearded man. Is, is is this your bear? The little boy asked, holding the teddy bear out to the man. The bearded man smiled, and he took the teddy bear in his rough hands and hugged him. Thank you, he said to the little boy. I don't know what I'd do without him. I know what you mean, said the little boy. I used to have one just like him. Then with his mother and father beside him, he walked to the corner to wait for the light to change. Wasn't that a cute story? What did you think about the little boy giving the bear back? I thought it was a very kind thing to do, right? I hope that we choose kindness in things that we do every day. Remember, wherever you go and whatever you do, Dee Dee loves you. Bye. <laughs>